In this video, we are going to learn about ecosystems, and we're going to have a ton of fun because ecosystems are super cool. So what is an ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem is an environment where living and non-living things interact. An ecosystem is an outdoor environment. Now, we just said that in an ecosystem, living and non-living things interact with each other. You might be wondering, what are some examples of living and non-living things that interact in an ecosystem? Well, living things like animals and plants interact with the non-living things outside, like the weather and soil. Together, they make up a very special place called an ecosystem. Here's the thing about ecosystems. They can be small, medium, or large. It all depends. Just as long as it's an environment where living and non-living things interact with each other. For example, this puddle is an ecosystem. Yeah, it's just a small puddle, but it's an environment where living and non-living things interact with each other. This little puddle is an ecosystem. It's a very small ecosystem, but it's an ecosystem. Here is a larger ecosystem. It's a rainforest biome. It's a much larger ecosystem than the puddle, isn't it? There are many different living and non-living things that interact in this environment. It is an ecosystem. Larger still is the whole Earth. Scientists consider the Earth to be one large ecosystem. So an ecosystem could be as small as a puddle, or as large as a biome, or even as large as the whole Earth. To make things as simple as possible, we're going to focus on the ecosystems found at the biome level. So it's larger than a puddle, but not as big as the whole Earth. That way we'll learn how ecosystems work and how living and non-living things interact with each other. All right, you know what time it is. Let's learn some ecosystems. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hey, Charlie, good job, by the way. Good job. The first ecosystem we are looking at today is the desert ecosystem. The desert ecosystem is found in the desert biome. The ecosystem in the desert biome receives very little rain. The desert biome is incredibly dry. That makes the desert ecosystem unique. The animals and plants in the desert have adapted to survive without standing water or much rain. Some animals actually keep water in their bodies to survive. Other animals get water from the food that they eat. A plant people think of when they think of deserts is the cactus plant. A cactus has spines that protect it from being eaten by creatures and has a special covering to protect the water that is inside of it so the water doesn't get out. That is the desert ecosystem, a very dry ecosystem. The soil is dry and there just is not much water because there isn't a lot of rain and the plants and the animals have had to adapt. The next ecosystem we are going to learn is the tropical rainforest ecosystem found in the tropical rainforest biome. Tropical rainforests are very different from deserts. Instead of being dry with little rain, tropical rainforests get a lot of rainfall and the soil is moist. Tropical rainforests get lots of rain all year long. Rain, rain, rain. That makes sense though, doesn't it? Rain is in the name, right? This makes the tropical rainforest ecosystem very different from the ecosystem we find in deserts. 
plants and animals don't have to trap or store water and moisture in the same ways as they do in the desert because water is all around them. Tropical rainforests are also incredibly warm. There are no cold tropical rainforests. All tropical rainforests are very warm all year long. The plants and animals thrive in the warm temperatures. Animals like this snake enjoy eating lots of prey because of how many animals live in this exciting ecosystem. For this reason, snakes tend to be larger in the tropical rainforest ecosystem. Another interesting thing about the rainforest is the soil is not rich. Because there are so many plants all over the place, the nutrients of the soil get drained very quickly. So while the soil is much more moist than the desert, the plants are constantly drawing nutrients from the soil. The tropical rainforest biome is home to an amazing ecosystem with lots of life that benefits from all of the rain and the warm temperatures. Remember, an ecosystem is an environment where living and non-living things interact. The plants and animals interact with the weather and soil to make a unique ecosystem. Next, we have the temperate deciduous forest ecosystem. Unlike the tropical rainforests, temperate deciduous forests have big temperature changes throughout the year as the seasons change. Here is a picture of a temperate deciduous forest in the fall. Temperate deciduous forests experience all four seasons. That's right, the plants and animals have to adjust to major changes throughout the year. That changes how they interact with the non-living things around them. Many animals migrate or hibernate during the winter in a temperate deciduous forest ecosystem. They must protect themselves from the cold, remember, while the plants and animals in a tropical rainforest interact with non-living things the same way throughout the year. In the temperate deciduous forest ecosystem, there are vast differences depending on the season. Another interesting thing about the temperate deciduous forest ecosystem is that plants are spaced far apart compared to the tropical rainforest. This means the soil is more rich. The soil is not constantly being drained of nutrients. The rich soil is another non-living thing that plants and animals interact with in this ecosystem. The temperate deciduous forest ecosystem is an interesting one for plants and animals because of the big temperature changes during the year. The soil is rich and the ecosystem is a wonderful place for animals and plants alike. Those are just a few of the ecosystems around the world. There are so many more. Some of them even exist purely in the water, but they all have this in common. Ecosystems are environments where living and non-living things interact with each other. We hope you had an awesome time learning about ecosystems. What other ecosystems can you think of? Hmm. Talk to a teacher, a parent, or a friend about other interesting environments where living and non-living things interact. For now, I guess I'm just going to stand here with this cup doing absolutely nothing in a temperate deciduous forest. <laughs> absolutely nothing.